Hello, this is Randy with SmoothieMakersHQ.com and uh, we're going to take a look at a blender today. It's the Krups Blender model number KB790T. And um, this is by far the shortish, shortest blender uh, that I've tried so far. Uh, it's a glass jar, so for you, those of you who like a nice stout uh, jar, um, this one's got that for you. It's a twist off lid. It doesn't press on. It actually, uh, you put it on and twist it. And uh, it's got a nice size hole that you can add things to, uh, which I so often do as I'm blending. And a short base. Um, it's got a nice feel to it. I don't know, I'd say the top is cast and it's got, uh, I don't know what that is, some type of plastic underneath. So uh, anyways, we'll load this up. The, uh, the jar is listed um, seven. I'm confident you can get eight cups uh, in here. So uh, that's what, 64 ounces. And um, we have different settings. We have an ice crush, a variable pulse, uh, which works if you push the variable pulse, then um, uh, push one of the speed buttons, it'll pulse at that speed. So it's got ice crush, should read the directions on these first, ice crush, variable pulse, a slow speed, one, two, three, and four speeds, and then an off button. And as you probably saw, the, um, the buttons are lit. So anyways, enough with that. Let's get to the making. That's really where the test is. None of that other matters if it can't make a, a good smoothie for us. So I'm going to add, yeah, I move around the metric side, about a cup of water. Where are we? That's yeah, about a cup. Um, I'm going to put some fruit in here. So I've got a whole orange. Got some grapes. Got a banana here. And half for the whole thing. You know what? Let's compromise. Half for the blender, two thirds for the blender, and third for Randy. And sorry, I'm eating in front of you. I got a full mouth. Put a little squeeze of fresh lemon in there. Now my greens, I have some uh, kale leaves with the stems. There's um, cilantro and collard greens. And those are some good size stems you can see there. A little bit under, under my pinky size, but still uh, pretty good size. And then we're going to add some... Uh, frozen fruit. I like to keep the fruit in the freezer until we're ready to use it. That way you see the performance on frozen right out of the freezer. Hasn't been thawed out at all. I have peaches, some strawberries, more grapes, some melon, a couple pineapples just to sweeten that up a little bit. And then I've got, um, I think on top, I'm just wanting to make a serving serving and a half here. Uh, I've got some spring mix of lettuce and I don't put a lot in. I'll tell you a great combination is um, the spring mix and a pear. Uh, really tastes good. So let me get that off the floor and we'll see see how this blender does. So it's got a nice locking lid. Not sure how tight the seal will be, but we'll find out. So I guess we're going to just pulse it up. Not pulse it up, but Uh, it's not overly loud. It's not the quietest blender I've used. I think that probably goes to the Breville uh, XL600, but um, 
you know, the glass jar really helps a lot, especially with the frozen fruit. Uh, against the plastic jars, it really, uh, really makes a racket. So I'm just going to let that blend up. Okay. Let me get my little plate out here that... Put a little bit on there. We'll spread that out. Put you on macro here. And uh, as you can see, that's a nice even consistency. Couple flakes, which you know that's to be expected with these um, mid-priced blenders. Uh, you're not going to pulverize everything like you would the high-speed 30,000 RPM blenders, like your Blendtex or your um, Vitamixes. But I, that's nice consistency. But let's get it in a glass. So how it looks, and more importantly, how it tastes. The saying is, the proof's in the pudding, right? I know that's still, let's bring that in. So you can see it. Um, it's, it's done a decent job with that, let's see. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that is um, done a very impressive job with the the pulverizing of the greens. Still taste uh, a little bit of that. Didn't have to chew anything. You know, it's just not the creamy smooth um, consistency. But again, you're doing very vi uh, fibrous leaves, and it's those stems that are very hard for these. Uh, lower RPM blenders to just absolutely pulverize. That is a uh, is a good smoothie. If you're doing just traditional fruit smoothies, uh, that's going to come out just fine for you. I have no uh, qualms at all about it doing. Oh, uh, no qualms at all about it doing uh, green smoothies for you, as you can see there. So again, this is the Krups Blender KB790T. My name is Randy, and uh, please visit me on SmoothieMakersHQ.com, and uh, you guys have a good day.